welcome back to my channel. I know you're probably so tired of seeing this shirt in my videos, but I just recently got it and that's why I've been wearing it a crap ton. It is my favorite. It's so soft. Oh my goodness. Well, today we are going to be tackling the second part of my blush declutter. Be sure to check out the first half of this declutter if you haven't already. And after I finish doing this, we are going to do lip products next, which is going to be multiple videos, I know. And then we're gonna do highlighters, which is also gonna have to be multiple videos. I just don't wanna do like an hour long video. That's just, mm -mm, mm -mm. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, tap that notification bell to be notified of more videos. And let's just get into this. All right, so I have my bins here, one for keep and one for get rid of. Now I will let you know that anything when I say I'm passing on it or getting rid of it, it goes to friends or family. I sell it on my Poshmark or if I'm not going to sell it and it has been opened, I donate it to a women's shelter. So let's just get in. The first blush here that I know I'm going to be keeping is Sugar Bomb by Benefit. I have just recently started using this and I really like it. It creates a nice natural flush to the cheeks. I have a Marc Jacobs Shameless Blush in the shade Obsessed. It's this absolutely beautiful peachy color. You know that is what I live for. Then I have this It Cosmetics CC Plus Radiance Ombre Blush in Coral Flush. Live for that. Oh, that would look really pretty today. Live for this color, keeping it. Then I have this Napoleon Pardee Blush in the shade Mosaic Powder Flushing. This is absolutely beautiful. It creates this beautiful like pinky, peachy, whatever, all over the face. All over the face but I'm going to be keeping that. Then I have this Milani blush in Luminoso. Absolutely love this. I will be keeping it. Let's see, okay. I have this Wet n Wild Fergie one, and I know these are basically the ones that they have that they've now repackaged and reformulated. So I'm going to be setting these ones aside and swatching them against the new ones that I have. And if they're the same or similar, I'll get rid of the Fergie ones. I have this Dual Intensity Blush from NARS in the shade Panic. I absolutely love these colors. I actually, actually recently decluttered a bunch of other ones of these. And this is the one that I kept, keeping that. I have a, another Milani blush in Dolce Pink. Oh, keeping this one. I absolutely love Milani blushes. They're so good. I have another Milani blush. This is the powder blush. It's just the one with the, with the rose on it in Coral Cove, keeping that one. I have a Makeup Revolution, the matte blush in Beloved, keeping that. I'm not doing so good on this one. I feel like I did so good on the first one. Then I have this Tartlet Blush in Celebrated. I absolutely love this. It's a beautiful, very natural color. It's the beautiful limited edition packaging, keeping that. I've got another one of these Makeup Forever ones that I thought were eyeshadows that are actually blushes, quote unquote. I am going to be passing that along. First one, woohoo! Another Milani one in Coralina. Oh my goodness, I love this one so much. It's like chock full of shimmer and glitter. If you don't like a glittery blush, stay away from this one, keeping that. I have another Tarte one in the shade Captivating. Absolutely love this, keeping it. Then I have the Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Blush in Mai Tai Buy You a Drink. Not even opened, but I'm going to be keeping that. I've got a whole bunch from Urban Decay here. I have Quiver, which is, oh my goodness, one of my absolute favorite blushes. And then I have Kinky, which is this beautiful like neutral one with a lot of shimmer and glitter in it. 
And then I have Bang. I love this one as well. Quiver is like a more deeper and this is more vibrant. And then Fetish, which is also really pretty. A very, that would look good today too. A very natural looking blush. Oh, and here's two more. I love the Urban Decay blushes. We have Indecent. I absolutely love this one. It is such a gorgeous, just peachy, corally. Yes, I love this one. Keeping it and bittersweet. Oh my goodness. I love me some purple blush and this is just amazing. Absolutely love it. Keeping it. Here we have a, let's see, Proudly Glow Baby Glow Blush Bronzer Duo from Flower Beauty in the shade Gloriously Golden. I'm going to pass that one along. I have a Too Faced Love Flush Blush in How Deep Is Your Love. I absolutely adore these, keeping them. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> I have another Milani Blush in American Beauty Rose. Keeping this one. I absolutely love these blushes. They're so beautiful. They're very pigmented and they just look so nice on the cheeks. I don't know if you can see that. It's just a little, little, little crappy swatch, but I'm going to be keeping that one. Here I've got four from Maybelline. These are the Master Highlight by Face Studio highlighting blushes. I remember I used the crap out of this one when I first got these and um, I just haven't really reached for them. This is 40 Mauve, it's that color there. This one is 20 Pink Rose, like that. 30 coral and 10 nude. I just haven't reached for these, so I'm going to be passing these on. Okay, that was pretty good, pretty good. I have this NYX blush in cinnamon. I'm going to be getting rid of this. Then I have City Color B Matte Blushes. I have this one, which is in blood orange. I'm actually going to swatch it to see. That's pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. And pigmentation can be... Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. That's actually really pretty. Okay. Keeping that one. And then I've got this one in Blackberry, which I have used, and I know I like that one. Then I have another Makeup Revolution, the Matte Blush in Divine. Now, this one, it's like a pinky. So... So I don't know, very smooth, but I have a lot of pink blushes. Oh, that's really pretty. It's like this really light wash of color. I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it. If I don't use it in the next month, I will let it go, let it go, let it go. I have this Milani Baked Powder Blush in Red Vino, keeping this one. Another one of the Kardashian Beauty Radiant Ombre blushes in Torch Ombre, keeping that. I have one from Tarte. This is Natural Beauty. I absolutely love this. This is one of my favorite reds ever. It just looks so natural and beautiful on the cheeks. Then I have this Stila Convertible Color Dual Lip and Cheek Cream, Cream and Gerbera. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Gerbera. I don't even know and I mean I've used it a couple of times I just don't get along really well with cream products so I'm actually going to pass that on I have another one from Milani in Berry Amore keeping this one more Urban Decay this one is definitely more keep I must have not separated them evenly enough <laughs> This is Obsessed from Urban Decay. I am obsessed with this. I had to do that. I had to do that. Keeping it. Then I have Rapture, which is, oh, this is such a beautiful color. Keeping it. Oh, boy. And then I have got the Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Blush in a Purple Haze. Love this. Like I said, love me my purple blush. Keeping it, another Master Highlight by Maybelline by Face Studio. This is in Light Bronze, passing that on. 
Makeup Revolution, the matte blush in Dare, and also in Nude, keeping these. I've got a NYX Ombre blush in Insta Flame. Oh, so pretty. Oh my goodness. Love this so much. Then we have the another, I've got another Makeup Revolution, the matte blush in New Rules. Love this color. And Wet n Wild from Fergie. This is going in that pile where I'm going to swatch and see if they're like the new ones. Urban Decay in Crush. Ooh, so pretty. Keeping it. Oh, this is where my Lorac blushes went. I have two of the Lorac buildable blushes. This is in the shade Prism. Very pretty. Just a light coral. Keeping that. Infrared. Oh my goodness. This one is so beautiful. And these blushes are so good. They just go on super smooth. Here's a random one from Physicians Formula. This is from their Argan Wear, and it's in the shade Rose. Now, Physicians Formula, you see all that shiny stuff? It is just nothing but overspray, and just, mm, I'm gonna let that one go. Then I have this one from Bare Minerals. It's a, like, loose powder blush in the shade Flirt. I don't do powder blushes, and we're just gonna let that one go. I have another Milani Rose Powder Blush in Awakening Rose. Ooh, so pretty. Keeping it. I have another NYX Ombre Blush in Soft Flush. Soft. That don't look very soft to me. It looks like bam, ba -chum, ba -chum, ba -chum. Maybe, maybe if you... No, that's still not very soft. It's really pretty though. So I'm going to be keeping that. Here I have a Maybelline Master Glaze by Face Studio in the shade Warm Nude. I don't really get along, well, that's really pretty, but I don't really get along well with these kinds of like cream products. So that one is going to go, even though it's really pretty. Hopefully someone else will enjoy that. All right, I've got this one from Too Faced. This is Justify My Love. I absolutely adore these blushes. They're just such a great formula, keeping that. Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blush. This would have, you would have seen these in my April favorites. These are so good, keeping them. Tarte Blushing Bride, absolutely Oh, it's so pretty. Love this. And yes, 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 yes. The Lorac Buildable Blush in Ultraviolet. This and the Urban Decay Bittersweet. They're so good. Like they look kind of scary and intimidating. In the, they still look kind of scary and intimidating. But then when you do it, it just kind of creates this like really beautiful like violet orchid color. It's so pretty on the cheeks. Absolutely love this. Keeping it. I have this Wet n Wild Pure Color Blush in Peach Passion Shimmer. This is one of the first blushes I ever had, and I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful. It's this gorgeous, just peachy, beautiful, shimmery, everything that I love in a blush. I'm going to hold on to it for a little bit longer. It, you know, I've had it for years, but just a little bit longer. From Milani, we've got... Uh, powder blush in T Rose, keeping this one. Another one from the Fergie Wet n Wild. It's going to go in that stack there. I have this blush from Circa in Bella Mare. Getting rid of that. I just haven't even ever used it and I'm not going to. The powder blush in Romantic Rose, keeping that. I love my Milani blushes. NYX Ombre Blush in Nude to Me. This one is so pretty. Oh my goodness. If I ever want to go natural, which obviously not today, I will go for this blush because it's just, it's like a nude, but it's just, it has something a little special to it. And then these blushes, I really like these when I got them and they're still like really good blushes. These are like a hidden gem. These are the Palladio Herbal Matte Blushes. You can get these at like Sally Beauty Supply Store. They were like, I want to say like $6 and they are so good. I mean, 
these I just I loved using these so much I've got it in toasted apricot then in bayberry they're just so good if you can get your hands on these definitely do it peach ice this one was mm, mm, phenomenal and berry pink these were just so good I really enjoyed using them I have held on to them for a long time but I haven't reach for them in like forever so these are going to go then i have another blush from circa this is a ultra suede cream blush in imperia and i just don't do cream blushes so it's gonna go bye bye oh heavens so many wet and wild color icon ombre blush in the princess daiquiris keeping that Too Faced Love Flush in Love Hangover. I think we know that I'm going to be keeping that. Here's another one for Makeup Revolution. Makeup Forever. And this is that whole eyeshadow, but actually a blush thing going on. And this just, I have other really pretty purple blushes. And I remember swatching these and they like, I mean, they work. Actually, that one's really pretty, but I have I have ones like that, so that one is going to go. The Wet n' Wild Fergie, once again, that stack. I have a NYX HD blush in Crimson. Oh, this is totally up my alley. A couple more NYX HD ones. I have got Pink the Town here. Ooh, pretty, keeping that. And then I have this Double Dare, which looks like this beautiful like orange one. I haven't opened it yet, but I'm going to keep that one and try to use it. I have this whoo, almost job. This uh, hourglass ambient lighting blush in ethereal glow. Super pretty. Paid way too much money for it. Two more of those cream blushes from Circa. This is Portofino, and this one is Capri. Why did I say it like that? <laughs> But I'm going to be letting those go. Also, this, another one of the Butterfingers. This is another one of the Physicians Formula Argan One. Once again, same deal. Glitter Top Spray, letting it go. I have this Stila Convertible Color Dual Lip and Cheek Cream in Camellia. Same deal as the Oof. First one I showed you, I just don't get along well with these kinds of products, so it's gonna go. Two more from City Color, the B Matte Blush. This is in Pink Grapefruit. This one's actually really pretty, keeping that. And this one is Fresh Melon, keeping that one as well. Oof. I have got three from Too Faced here. <laughs> Baby Love. Petey. Natural. This one. Oh, I will always love you. <laughs> love this one. And oh, your love is king. This one is absolutely gorgeous. Keeping that. Oh, we're getting down to it. Down to the last bit. This one from Urban Decay in the shade Score. Love that. Keeping it. I'm starting to run out of space in my keep bin. From Milani Bella Rosa. Absolutely love this. Beautiful. Keeping it. Then I've got NYX Ombre Blushes. I really like these, obviously, if you can't tell. This is Strictly Chic. It's actually more of a nude than the nude one. Keeping it. And this one is Sweet Spring. Ooh, that's really pretty. Ooh, that look, that look good today. Keeping that one, I'm gonna have to get rid of some stuff because I'm running out of space. All right, I've got this Wet n' Wild Mega Glow one. I've already decluttered one of these. This is in Strike a Rose, Strike a Pose Rose. It's going. Same with this Physicians Formula Happy Booster. I absolutely love the design on here. It's so cute. It's like these little hearts. How adorable is that? 
but I just, I have other shades and this is in the shade warm. So that's going to go. I have this Milani one in Blossom Time Rose, keeping that. And then I have this Revlon in Melon Drama, going to be passing that along. I have, oh, I thought I got all of these in the other one. Guess not. This is the Clean Color Miss Chick Blush in, I was about to be like, in the shade Made in China, <laughs> in the shade Mauve. I'm going to be getting rid of that one. Another one of those Neutrogena ones. Huh. This is in 20 Vibrant. Absolutely love these. Keeping them. Another one from Lorac. This is in Vivid. Keeping that because I love me my Lorac blushes. Then I've got two more from Revlon in, I think, I think. Did I have the same one? Oh, pink, because I was all like, oh, I don't know how to say the... I'll have to check, because I think I got rid of this one in my first one. Maybe I have two. It wouldn't be surprising, but I'm passing that one along, too. And Classy Coral, passing that one along. And then, let's see here, a, another blush bronzer duo from Flower Beauty in Beachy Keen. That's such a cute name, but I am passing it along. And then I have this... Cavo Largo from Circa, passing that on. And last but not least, another cream blush from Circa in La Spezia. Getting rid of that one. And you know what? I've got plenty other Wet n Wild blushes. All four of these are going to go. I don't need to swatch. I don't need these colors. They're going to go. Okay, I've done the tally mark. I am keeping 63 and I am passing along 42. That is kind of disgusting, but you know, I love blush. I did a little lot better than I thought I would this time around. So yay me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am so grateful to all of you. So definitely stay tuned for my lip declutter and my highlighters, which are going to be next. We are getting through this crazy decluttering train and making my life easier because I need less makeup so that I can actually use what I love. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. And as always, keep it real. Mwah.